If I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness. Apparently, a decision was made to characterize pure evil as a spiritual force, evil within the darkness of the hearts of men. That was more convenient, and that way man remained at the center of things, a stupid lie. We were salesmen, that's all. We sold our product to those who didn't have it. A new life, reward ourselves, punish our enemies, so we can live without the truth. Substance, malevolence. That was the truth. Asleep until now, Father Loomis explains how the secret of Satan was kept for over 2,000 years. No prison can hold him now. The priest about Satan. Satan, known by all as the most malevolent figure in biblical traditions of the Abrahamic religions, was actually the child of another, yet less known and malicious immortal entity, a god who walked the earth eons ago and imprisoned his son into a cylinder for seven million years in what is now known as the present-day Middle East before his banishment to the dark side of the universe. This is from Fandom.com. In comes Jesus, centuries later in ancient Israel, to warn everyone about Satan and his dark father too, uh, who was believed to be, as well as the Romans, um, like human-like race. So finally, um, the religious authorities, as well as the Romans, determined Christ was crazy and he was gaining power. He was converting many people to his beliefs, so they had him murdered and crucified. But his disciples kept the secret from civilization until mankind developed a science that was sophisticated enough to determine and prove what Jesus has warned. This is interesting. In 1987, they made a movie called The Prince of Darkness in which they find this green canister. In the 16th century, a Christian sect in Spain called the Brotherhood of the Sleep found a canister somewhere in the Middle East. And uh, the location was rearranged uh, by the Spanish government. The Brotherhood took the ancient object to the New World, the Americas, and took a vow of silence, even about their own existence, that no one, not even the Vatican, knew about them or the cylinder that they guarded. And they do so for many years ever since. You may say, Gina, the symbol of the Brotherhood of Sleep does not even exist. That's no such thing. There actually is... um, and um, you can see right here, one of the symbols it says the symbol of the Brotherhood of Sleep who foresaw the coming of Satan and the anti-God in this movie. Uh, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to see a little bit more information on it. Very simply, the Brotherhood of Sleep is a very secret and very small sect of the Catholic order, Opus Dei. The organization is designed to oppose evils that threaten mankind. The Brotherhood works together to make sure that the great old ones, the elder things, and the other monsters remain in their death-like sleep. So we got these monsters in a death-like sleep, allowing time and space to continue as God originally ordained. And although the Brotherhood opposed all evil, their main focus remains um, Kutulahu and his sunken city right there. You can see it. So um, we're going to look at the location that they're talking about. And it's actually, you can find it in this uh, place, I guess, uh, Lovecraft. They've actually pinpointed it, and you can see where it is. It's in the um, in the Southern Pacific Ocean, close to the Pacific Po. It's really, really, really interesting um, what you can find on the Internet. Some might say, well, you can't take that for granted. Why not? Have we been told the truth thus far? Are we going to see the truth on the TV? No, we're not. Is the news going to tell us? No, no, they're not. What I found interesting was um, these quotes from this uh, movie, The um, Prince of Darkness. It's your belief that empowers him, your stubborn faith in, in, grasping from words the priest was doing, common sense. It allows his deception. He lives in the smallest part of it. In the atoms, smaller, invisible, he lives in all of it. 
in the sum of its parts. We must translate this book. You must prove it scientifically to convince the outside world. Father Loomis is talking about the anti-God, or you might as well say like a anti-Christ, anti-God. So let's look at another quote that came from this movie. Suppose what your faith has said is essentially correct. Suppose there is a universal mind controlling everything. A God willing the behavior of every subatomic particle. Every particle that has an antiparticle. Its mirror image. Its negative side. Maybe this universal mind resides in the mirror image instead of in our universe as we wanted to believe. Maybe he's anti-God bringing darkness instead of light. Now that's kind of really um, interesting. I got to pause for a second with that right there, very train of thought. Look at this. I just did a search. It's from this cross ward egg. The Prince of Darkness cross ward clue. Last updated January 12th, 2002. This cross ward clue, the Prince of Darkness, was discovered last seen in the January the 12th, 2022 at the Universal Crossword. The crossword clue possible answer is available in five letters. This answers the first letter of which starts with S and can be found at the end of N. We think Satan is the possible answer on this clue. Why on earth are you... Why you even have stuff like out here? You are there. This is in our face. They are literally ushering in the prince of darkness, Satan. They want Satan to come. They do the writing all about him like he's be, to be glorified. And I'm sure there's people who are glorifying him. I'm just going to read this uh, from Paul Harvey. If I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness and I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree, the. So I'd set about, however necessary, to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers with the wisdom of a serpent. I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confine that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old, I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with the dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with pills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families that war with themselves churches at war with themselves and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed and with the promises of higher ratings i'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames if i were the devil i would encourage schools to refine young intellect but neglect to discipline the emotions just let those run wild until before you knew it You'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting pornography. Soon as I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress, and in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and defy science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbols of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. And what do you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct, 
I would convince the young that marriage is old-fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be, and thus I could undress you in public, and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing. Paul Harvey, Good Day.